we would like you to understand now we know that's out there and we were give what we gave you just now is vibrationally and theoretically and in terms of law utterly accurate but how does it play out in your experience so what we just said to you that you could experience from your physical format is as you are living in your life and knowing what you don't want you are giving birth to rockets of desires about what you do want and the larger part of you is already living the life that you do want the question that this workshop is asking of you and answering for you is what are you doing in relationship to the expanded being that you have become and the answer is the better you feel the more up to speed with you you are the worse you feel the more not up to speed with you you are since humans and it's natural want to play everything out in the physical format what 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 we just said to you in its entirety means to you is that as you look into a segment of your life and you see something that hits you wrong that you don't want like maybe a car that isn't operating well or maybe a relationship that doesn't feel as good as you'd like it to or a political process that seems like it's lost its mind or something ecological on the planet as you see something that doesn't set well with you in the moment that you see it you give birth to a solution and from in in the in the way that we are teaching you you could softly turn your attention from the problem to the solution and feel the wholeness of it and begin in that moment to live the solution and in your knowing of it in other words what we are talking about here is instant manifestation we're talking about defining letting life help you define what you want and being so practiced in your understanding of the law that you get it that if this time space reality could inspire the desire within you the time space reality can provide the wherewithal to give you full manifestation of it and the only reason that there is any lag between your decision that you want it and your manifestation of it is your vibrational proclivity to focus on the lack of it or focus on the presence of it all of the characteristics that man has been assigning to God are possible with you instantaneous healing teleportation from one place to another the creation of anything wanted in the moment that you want it in other words there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have but you have to understand the wholeness of who you are and train yourself into the vibration of that which is as complete as you have become so far and for most humans there is quite a significant lag time between what they are asking for and they're finally allowing themselves to receive it in many cases man has become one who feels so unworthy that he never allows himself the abundance that he seeks in many cases man has just practiced a vibration of lack so much that even though he really wants it his new desires torture him because the larger part of him not only agrees that the wanting of it is good but is already living it vibrationally while he is holding himself apart by focusing upon the lack of it you see so we've given you a very big answer to this question as you were wondering about probable realities we are wanting you to understand that if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire any desire within you this time space reality has the wherewithal to provide it for you and to provide it for you now the lag time is just about how long it takes you to come into the nowness of it you see so that's why we're saying to you that when you need to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it before you believe it you hold yourself in a perpetual gap or lag time but when you are willing or able capable because you've practiced it to find the vibrational essence of it to feel the emotional success of it even before it is manifested now you are whole with it because the vibration of you is up to speed with the vibration of your creation and once that happens it will manifest and it will manifest fast because inside the vortex you'll have full view of all of it and the only reason that this doesn't make sense to you and you are not standing on your chairs riotous 
needlessly ruckusing about the exuberant information that we've just given to you <laughs> is because we love you very much you're hung up on the manifestation and you're still most of you in the mindset that you will believe it when you see it which slows it way 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 down because now others have to believe it even though you don't see it and they have to do it in the face of a great current of discord and controversy and ill will and then they have to prove it to you but you can't see what's in their vortex it's really interesting you think that you are all seeing things the same way but you are as diverse in the lives that you are living as the way you are perceiving this planet to be you see got a lot more than you bargained for here didn't you <laughs> you said Abraham I, I I just came because I want more money I don't know about this <laughs> I don't know about this vortex stuff we're just saying to you that if you will let if you will believe do you believe in the reality of this vibrational reality do you believe that you are a vibrational being first and foremost yes. do you believe that your life has caused you to create in this vortex of creation a precursor to the manifestation yes. do you believe that it requires vibrational alignment with this vortex in order to receive the full manifestation of the creation do you believe that your emotions let you know your relationship to this vortex yes. do you believe that all things are possible yes. then you've got it <laughs> Enough? That, that's perfect I have a quick question um, regarding when people croak they always um, uh, that's that's one way to catch up to what you become but um, I want to um, I've heard you describe many times that to some people it's like the next logical step or as easy as walking in from one room to another from when you transition to pure non-physical consciousness and we also have a lot of people who have near-death experience who talk about seeing a light or a tunnel or a stairway to heaven or whatever you may call it I want to get um, if, if you can describe that is it really a light or a tunnel or anything like that or is it just boom we're back into non pure physical experience well the sensation that you have as an individual moving into this in other words this is like the ultimate moving into the vortex isn't it so just look at it this way if you've been hanging around in the vortex while you've been in your physical body then moving into the vortex will just feel like hmm, what are we having for lunch now <laughs> in other words there you you will not have the the sensation of release of resistance it's the feeling of relief that that is so evident if somebody's been in despair or in fear and that's the perspective from which they make their transition then their feeling of release and relief is just beyond description so really it is it the variable is how resistant were you before you made your transition which makes a lot of people wonder well if I wasn't resistant at all why would I make my transition at all don't I make my transition isn't that punishment for all my resistance that's what a lot of people think and we say the, the a lot of times people make their transition into non-physical because they have explored what's going on here to their satisfaction and they are looking from a new vantage point from which to explore Esther had a really wonderful experience quite early on in her Abraham experience because they had been invited by Burl Ives who was a very well-known singer uh, many years ago to visit in his home and they got to know him they were there a few times and and got to play with him and converse with him and get to know him and his wife Dorothy and then they didn't see him for a while and they got word from his wife that he was getting ready to make his transition and they were aware of it even when they knew him he was ailing and and never leaving the house and so 
Jerry was watching television one night waiting for the weather so he had the television muted just watching to see when the weather began and the news was on and he saw a picture of Burl Ives go across the screen and he said to Esther I wonder what's up with Burl because they knew he was not making another movie and Jerry said I wonder if Burl is getting ready to make his transition or maybe he already did and the news report was just reporting that he was in critical condition and so forth and Esther sat on the sofa thinking about him and focused uh, upon her appreciation of him and had the unique really rare experience of getting to feel him make his transition and she felt the release and relief of resistance almost as if it were her own because she was focused upon him she had known him remembered him seen him as he was and so as she focused upon him in his ailing time she experienced the release of that resistance and she still cannot find words to describe the deliciousness of that re-emergence into non-physical in one fell swoop leaving behind all doubt and fear and concern and sickness and sadness and soreness leaving all of it behind and becoming whole who you are we we cannot find the words to explain to you the exhilaration that that death experience is you'll know it when you croak and to the degree that you are in alignment you may know it when you forgive a friend you may know it when you let loose of an argument you may know it when you release resistance release resistance release resistance but we've got to tell you that croaking experience is the ultimate releasing of resistance and then Esther said Burl did you do you know what you have just done and she could feel the fullness of him she could feel his laughter she was translating it through the the apparatus that she knew was him so she could feel the hardiness and the fullness of him and he said to her oh Esther it is so much more than Abraham told me it would be <laughs> and then he said you know it's odd things that bothered me deeply just seconds ago now are of no concern at all and Esther said will you talk to me again and he said I don't know <laughs> in other words he he had no earthly care or concern she, Esther could feel his eagerness it was like he had walked through a doorway into an expansive environment that he just could not wait to devour fully and everything that was before was irrelevant because he was now living real time you see so that is what we are wanting to convey to all of you you don't have to have the death experience to have that exhilarating release of resistance you can stand in your body in the love that is really you but this physical environment will tease you from time to time out of your vortex that's just fine step one is a good thing when you're out of your vortex just bless the contrast that causes the expansion and as quickly as you can turn your attention back to what's in the vortex we wish for all of you we wish for all of you that upon your death experience as Esther or someone like her who is tuned to the vibrational frequency of non-resistance says to you how is it that your answer will be it's just like every day <laughs> because you can live heaven on earth you see it's not where you are it's your vibrational aptitude thank you